everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today we're gonna do a little something different. I picked up some of these The Woobles Learn to Crochet kits, and we are going to attempt to work on this, kind of get started on it, do something with it. I don't know, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of something with it. So we're at least gonna break it out and see what it is. So this one is Salem the Cat. I figured this is perfect for the fact that you know we're in October. Got Mochi, got Sushi, who's about trying to climb on the bookshelf. No, little cat, you're not climbing on that bookshelf. That is not a cat climbing bookshelf. She's like reaching her little paw, like, I want it, give it to me. Oh, really? Don't plant a few mule at me, little kitten. She's hilarious. So we are gonna break this out and see what comes in this little kit. All right, there's the stuffing. Ooh, look at the pretty purple. That was hilarious. So here is all the goods that you get inside this kit. The woobly bits and instructions are inside. All right. So I have to go to the QR code. Here's all the little pieces. I guess you screw the eyeballs in, that's interesting. And then you thunk them in from there. Pin needling, ah, there's the, the woobly bits for the eyes, to screw the eyes in. Okay, okay. So, these are the woobly bits, needle and thread, and all of these other things. I'm not gonna need this portion for a little bit. So, I need to scan this QR code. Well, I need to pull it up on my iPad. And we have a kitten in our midst. You are not allowed to come up on the iPad that is not allowed. She's still learning what she's allowed to do and not allowed to do. And she has yet to learn that she's not allowed to be on the, um, I think we're in alphabetical order. Ah, we want this one. All right, let me type in the password. All right, I think I am ready to kind of get started on this thing. I have not crocheted in forever, so you will have to bear with me. We will see how this goes. I've, no, I've also never used stitch markers in crocheting, uh, so we will see how that goes as well. Um, let's see, how am I supposed to do this? Oh yeah, I have to do the, go through the thing first. Oh, I'm doing the double stitch. I'm not used to it, like crocheting and talking at the same time. But, so, okay. And then they want me to like move this stitch marker so I can like track where I've been. Which I'm not used to actually doing that. I've never, like, like I said, I've never used stitch markers before. That's not something I've ever actually done. So, we will use the stitch marker. I have a tendency to pull too tight when I'm crocheting. Uh, I've always done that. I've always been one of those like tight pullers in my, and then I'm always like struggling. But. Get a little less tension on those. I mean, I guess I can pull those out. I was like, I'm, it's been a while since I've read a pattern for crocheting, so I was like, let me read this pattern that looks different than any pattern that I've actually read. Uh, I'm taking these out because they're just annoying me. And it was like, you only need these until you learn how to recognize where the hole is. I'm like, do people struggle with recognizing that that's where you stick your uh, crochet hook? If so, that just seems kind of like Odd. I guess I'm just so used to like you count how many that you do uh, and you recognize hey you need to do this many I need to not go so tight so that's three four I have to do six of these in the first round Because 
because I'm increasing, so it's like 12, 12 stitches. But you just go back and you count how many you've gone through. It's not like it's that hard. You just count your stitches or your crochets, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's what I've always done is you just kind of recognize where you started and then go from there because it's not that hard to know where you started. At least I've never thought it was hard to recognize where you started when you look back at your pattern, but well, that's just been me and how I was phrased doing it. All right, so you just say, okay, that was my double, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so that was my six. All right, and now I do a single crochet. single crochet and then I do an increased stitch which is funny that they do that actually no that's not how I do that go ahead and pull that back out read the directions on the next part a little bit closer because it's kind of like, again, it's reading the pattern. So I think I do single crochet and then double crochet, or then an increased stitch, then single, then increase. Because that would be, let me see, let me see seven. Yep, that's what I do. Okay, that's what I do for round three. So I do a single, which I guess I then move this sucker up to there so I can tell where I began. Could just take that sucker. I don't like having to actually pull my crochet hook out. These things are like trick. I like the green one better though. But this is Halloween y colors. And it's a Halloween cat. So we're going to leave the orange in for the Halloween cat. So, yes, we are going to go to a little bit of a time lapse then for you guys. Rather than me kind of continuing on my slow pace, we're going to go to time lapse. So, I was in the groove and I didn't realize that I was supposed to do three rounds of just single stitching. So that's why you've been put this little thing. So I was doing my single stitch. I did like one round of single stitching and then I was going to, you know, single stitching and then you do an increased stitch. And I was like, oh, then I glanced down. And I'm like, oh, I need to attach the eyes. Okay, I'll count back and then I'll attach the eyes. Well, the area where I attach the eyes is actually like only one round back from where here. So I'm like, well, I need to go back to here to be able to do where I was doing my uh, single stitching anyways, because I was supposed to do three rounds of this single stitch because this was round seven. And then I was supposed to do eight and nine of this single stitch and then round 10 uh, or single chain, I guess you could say, because it's crocheting. But uh, so this actually worked out perfectly because I was like, now I have to try to figure out where to go back to put the eyeballs. So I'm going to attach eyeballs and then go from there. So here we are. I get to attach eyeballs between these two rows and then get back into doing two more chains of rounds of the single chain and then go back into where I was. So I only really had to backtrack one round because you would have like, I don't like it when they combine rounds. It just is like annoying. So I get to attach my eyeballs now and then go on and move along.
but making good progress. We've got a little uh, dome of the little cat's head. So that's good progress. So we are about to move along and continue on. So at this point, yes, obviously I'm doing a voiceover at this point. Uh, so I was finally kind of figuring out everything, getting the gist of it. Uh, wasn't really realizing until afterwards that I wasn't doing the best job of actually keeping my hands in screen uh, for how I had my camera set up. So next time I will definitely do a better job of that. But uh, I was originally going to be putting the eyes between those two rows uh, because that's what I thought I needed to do. But then as I was looking at the pattern, it was like, oh, no, actually, um, I'm going to wait and do that a little bit later. So that's what I did here. You can see I got the body done, put the eyes in, stuffed the body. Uh, like I'm literally this time lapse is speeding up like three hours of worth of work. Uh, I think I finished it in like two and a half or three hours, but it's speeding up like uh, significant amounts of time of work into like mere seconds, which is kind of cool. Um, cause now I have the ears done, which took me forever. And you can see, I get to kind of like sew in the whiskers, which was fun. Um, but I got to do the sewing in of the whiskers in the mouth, uh, which was a fun piece of everything. Um, super cute, super fun. And I uh, guess, but yeah, this whole process was took me significantly longer than what you kind of get the gist of in this time lapse. It was more of like two and a half to three hours, not like the minute, minute right. and a half you see. Totally not the most perfect little uh, wooble after, but I mean, I have not crocheted in almost like probably like somewhere between 15 to 20 years. So I don't think it turned out too shabby for, you know, the first time doing something in like 15, 20 years. So I'm pleased with how this little uh, Salem the cat turned out. Uh, minus the fact that, you know, I got, kept getting distracted by a certain other little cat who was just happy to distract me while I was trying to work. Uh, let me put all the little woobly bits. I love that they call these woobly bits. I have plenty of yarn left over. Uh, I wonder if this is, an, it's like, it's quite a bit of yarn. Putting all the wibbly bits back in here, and we're gonna put our filling in here and our wibbly bits. Doop, doop. This. Oh, you get off of that iPad, you little rascal, rapscallion. I will show you this distraction now that we are not being distracted by the packet. So, we ready for this cute distraction? She's staring out the window. The big distraction is sleeping right now, but let's look at our little tiny distraction. Come here, little one. Come here, come here. She's like, but I'm staring out the window. I'm staring out the window. Look at this little face. She's like, no, don't do it. Look at this little face. Hey, Sushi. Hey, look at that little face. What? It's a baby, she's purring at me. Sushled, little baby sushi. Hi, little one, purr, purr, purr. So, the distraction, who was trying to help me, kept getting in the way. She's like, I must go climb in the window. I could see birds out there. I must chitter at birds. Anyways, I'm actually pretty pleased with how this little thing uh, turned out. There's like, some things that were a little bit more tricky, but I mean, you know, not bad considering. Oh, get out of there. No, we're not climbing on the iPad. No, not climbing on the iPad. No, 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 little kitten toe pads. Okay, we are going to squirt the kitten. There we go. We're not climbing on the iPad. It's not allowed. Uh, little kitten toe pads can control the iPad and that's not allowed. So yeah, I'm pleased with how this turned out. Cute little uh, thing. I have a few more woobles uh, to do. So yes, but I thought this one was perfect for the Halloween spooky season. Boop, boop. So sushi, what's this? What's this? She's ignoring me now. Do you want it? Do you want this? She's like, nope, you squirted me. I'm going to lay here and look at you. But anyways, this was Woo Woo.
fun little kit. It's good for a couple hours of entertainment. Uh, and now I need to go eat lunch. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.